subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. Where do you see yourself in five years? Many of us have probably asked or been asked that question at some point in our lives. Five years has become the arbitrary future time frame through which we're often asked to try and plan our lives. It's a period of time in which a lot can change, yet one that's short enough where you can reasonably try and plot out where you'll be when it elapses. Ron Hextall, who took over as general manager of the Flyers a week after their 2014 postseason ended, is in his fifth offseason as general manager of the Flyers. In that offseason, he inherited from Paul Holmgren a situation that was largely unenviable and average, aging, and expensive roster, with one of the worst defenses in the NHL and a largely barren group of prospects. There were a few possible directions that Hextall could have gone from there. Double down, get aggressive, and try and make more moves to contend with young stars like Claude Giroux and Jakub Verasek entering their primes? Or blow it up and start from scratch? knowing how long it would take for the team to be in a legitimately good long-term position again? Hextall has tried to thread the needle between those two endpoints. The Flyers haven't tanked, and have never managed its roster like a team that didn't care about the present. But at the same time, the Flyers under Hextall have mostly refrained from making moves. Not just big moves, moves, period. Call it conservative, call it risk-averse. Call it slow, call it safe, call it whatever you want. It's felt like, above all, the past few years have been about avoiding the possibility of making a big mistake. That's not to say there haven't been mistakes, but they've largely avoided problems, so to speak. Dale Weiss's contract signed two years ago today has been bad, but at $2.35 million a year that's more of a nuisance than a disaster. The decision to trade for Valtteri Filppula at the 2017 trade deadline in hopes of finding a short-term middle six center didn't work out well, depending on who you ask, but that was a one-year rental that didn't block anyone of significance. The move this past February to get Petr Mrazak when basically every other goalie was injured largely failed, but the Flyers still got into the playoffs and few expected Mrazak to be anything more than a pure rental. Plus goaltending in a two-month sample is kind of a crapshoot anyways. But while the losses haven't been bad ones, the wins haven't been particularly victorious ones, either. In fact, it's hard to point to many real meaningful wins in terms of NHL-level acquisitions during Hextall's tenure as general manager. Radko Gudas has probably been the team's most successful acquisition of the past four years, and somewhat ironically. He was a throw-in in a sell-off trade where Braden Coburn was sent to Tampa. For the past four years, the Flyers have largely made small strokes while they waited for Hextall to replenish the farm system. On that front, Hextall has objectively done a good job. The Flyers had what was widely seen as the top-ranked prospect pipeline in the league as recently as last summer, and they've still got depth on the way at basically every position even after about a half-dozen graduations in the past few seasons. This is outstanding, and consistently having good young players available is crucial to maintaining success in a salary cap league. Yet it's hard to just wait the requisite amount of time for a bunch of young players to prove that they're NHL ready and then grow familiar with the NHL itself. It's especially hard to do that when those young, prime age stars that were there when Hextall took over will be 29 and 30 years old when the puck drops on next season. And as exciting as it's been to see guys like Shane Gostaspair, Ivan Provorov, and Travis Konechny emerge onto the NHL scene in the past few years, it's hard to really keep a fan base's attention and confidence when the on-ice product is basically about the same average quality right now as it was when you first took over four years ago. Far too often, it's felt like the actual urgency to win games in the here and now just wasn't there. The way Hextalls talked about this team in his time here, it'd have been reasonable for fans to wonder if the team would really ever try and make big moves. Hextalls proud of the work he's done to replenish the pipeline, as he should be. And in his defense, until this offseason, cap space has been pretty tight ever since he arrived here, 
largely thanks to contracts signed by his predecessor, so to some extent his hands have been tied at the NHL level. But rarely do teams draft, develop, and plan well enough to simply succeed by doing.